Hey guys, I'm Jinx and welcome back to the Pillars of the Earth. We have coin for the road, Father's Dagger still. If only we could take back the Earl of Interesting. We need to find shelter. So, let's try and resist the, the storm as much as possible. There has to be something somewhere. We're in monks' fields. Have we been here before? I don't know. I don't remember. The storm keeps pushing. Maybe this... Yeah, maybe this house. At least it's... As... At least it's not getting stronger, right? Even though it's pretty bad. Oh, oh. Safety, yeah. Who's going on? Huh. I kind of figured there'd be less people than this. I am sorry for intruding, but I must ask you for shelter. I was on my way from the Fleece Fair in Winchester to Kingsbridge and got caught in the storm. Nasty, isn't it? Yes. A and it's getting worse and worse. Thank you for your hospitality. Eh. I have a bad feeling about this, but yeah, so far so good. I guess. Someone! Never mind. Please! I need help! Someone's crying. Why isn't anyone doing anything? Or doing something? I'm hurt! We were outside. <laughs> uh, oh, I, I guess. Oh! Are those rocks? I can barely see. Hello? Those are not rocks. Oh! Oh dear! Are you hurt? Okay. Didn't even think about- My horse! It fell! I, I, I can't move! Take my hand! We'll get you inside! Oh, okay. I will- Yes, yeah, so and nobody wanted to go out and help, huh? But we'll only be here until it's safe to leave. We won't bother you. I thought it was a little girl. I'm voice. Aliena. What's your name? It looks young, but... Elizabeth. Breathe, Elizabeth. You're safe now. Shater. Yes. Just let her die. What? We would all be better off without someone like her. Oh. Take care of the traveler. Interesting. So, so they know her, and they left her out deliberately. Observing us should watch my words. Is this about her? Yeah, it is. Um, old woman. Seems calm. I don't like this. Hold your horses. We'll see what happens. Hmm. Seems calm. I wonder if the old and brittle will get through. The storm will leave scars on the land. Elizabeth. Just a girl beside herself. That poor soul. Can we talk to her some more? Let's f yeah, let's- alright, let's find something to warm her, I guess. If, she, if she's- if she's cold, then yeah. Fire, the room filled with smoke. Yeah. Fire keeps everyone warm, hard to breathe. 
All right. Is there any? What's she doing now? I don't know. I think she's crazy. Rugged peasant. I think we should be kinder yeah. to her. Thank you. They don't deserve our kindness. Why? All right. Fine. Fuck it. Hold on. Uh, keeps glancing over. Does he know her or me? Good question. I think her. Oh, yeah. yeah. Just, just ignore us. Um, I need help though. Oh, whoa, whoa. Blanket meat. That's the peasants. Smoke. Okay. I bowl. All right. <laughs> I missed a lot of things. <clears throat> a little clay bowl, clean enough for eating. Can we take it? Without anybody. All right. A small bowl. Smoke can barely can barely see what's up there. Smoke is filling the entire room. I can't make it out either. Um, meat. Smoke pieces of meat could be old but nourishing. A rare sight during famine. Yeah, you're right. And a pot. There's soup in the pot. Looks rather thin. Is a is there a hoof in there? It's better than nothing. Small bowl of soup. Great. <laughs> what? We don't have much, but always enough for a lost soul. Thank you. Thank you very much. Can we add meat? The soup may be thin, but we mustn't be greedy. Okay. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> let's not. And there's nothing over there. Okay. Well, let's give her the soup then. Should be enough to help warm her anyway. Other than that, there's still the blanket. Eat this. You must be hungry. I didn't mean to sit down Thank again. You. That's nice of you. Absolutely. Why no are problem. you giving her soup? Dirt. That's what she deserves for dinner. Why? What? Do you want her to starve? Please don't start a fight. Let's find something to warm. A used blanket, red bear, but warm. Definitely better than nothing. Though, rugged blanket smells like horse. Hey, what Is are you that... gonna do with that? I'm just going to borrow it. Let's try to get along until the storm passes. Yeah. We're just giving her a blanket. Calm down. Is that one of those blankets that you put under the saddle? And that's why it smells like horse? Thank you. Either way, it should keep her a little, a little warmer. Hey, that's our blanket. Yeah, and it Can't was hanging there. she's freezing? It's alright. It's just a blanket. Exactly. Oh, you're so kind. Many people would have let me die. People don't listen to me. My entourage didn't even notice they lost me. Who? My husband and his entourage. Hmm. Oh, a fine husband you have. I divorced my last one for less than that. Divorced? That's, that's a different story. Oh, he's just been beside himself ever since his mother. Maybe now you'll understand what loss feels like. And what you people are doing to us. You're not... You're not William <gasps> fucking Hamley's Stop wife. Stop bullying uh, her! Can't mind. you see she's upset? Kiff. <laughs> How do they yourself? know you? This isn't right. Oh, I'm used to it. I guess that's how it is when your husband holds an office like that. Hmm. He has to do a lot of things people don't like. Ugh. And... Sometimes they recognize me, too. Wait. Yep. Is your husband the Earl of Shiring? Is your husband the Earl of Shiring? I thought you knew. William Hamley. Oh, Asshole. please don't abandon me, too. No, don't worry. I, I swear, I'm not... I, I, I can't... 
I used to know him when I was a girl. Really? What's he like now? I loathe him with all my heart. Yep. Welcome I had accepted the, the arrangement with good will, but he had other plans. How do you know him? It's a long story. There is... You know, the... the... It's a long story. Should we be diplomatic or blunt? I guess blunt would be just like coming out coming out and saying, Oh yeah, he's a piece of shit that wants me dead and wanted me dead and is responsible for the deaths of a couple people and also for a bunch of other shit and blah 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 blah. And diplomatic might be a little more, I don't know. We'll be blunt. He wanted to marry me when I was your age. Right, that too. Apparently he likes young girls, no matter how old he gets. You yeah, too. I didn't even was think supposed about that. to marry him. You're right. Uh, how come you didn't? He was a beast. So I refused. Y you refused him. It caused a lot of misery. Yeah. Well, you're, you're so courageous. I wish I was like you. I I can't even stand up to the servants. Don't act like you didn't have a hand in the downfall of this land. What? For years he roamed across the country to raid, rape and kill. And that's her fault how? I'm sorry. She's like he's 17 no at most. After all he's taken from us, we should take something from him too. <gasps> okay. She has nothing to do with this. The Don't you dare touch her. Yeah. Can't you see? She's another one of his victims. Oh, give over. She's in on it too. Can you even imagine how it must be to be a child married to Hamley? The abuse. And the humiliation. Every single day. I'm so sorry. I, I'm crying because you know too. Enough to know your pain. I just, I just don't know what to do anymore. Tom, where the hell am I supposed to tether this horse? Motherfucker. <gasps> how, how can you be it's speaking Walter. that calmly He's with the storm outside? Well, yeah, obviously. I'm not even gonna... Obviously this. I mean, come on. It's gonna cause problems, but... Come with me to Kingsbridge. People will take care of you there. That should do it. He's so calm. Walter. You. I've not seen you in a long time. William would be very pleased if I brought him your head. No! Don't harm her! If it wasn't for her, I'd be dead. She saved me from the storm. Did she now? Come on, we have to get back to the castle. We've lost too much time already. Oh no. He stays Elizabeth with me. stays with me. No, she doesn't. Oh yeah, she does. Thank you. For saving me and protecting me from these people. Come on now, we need to get going. William is waiting. <laughs> that might be one one of the William's wife. William is waiting might be one of the worst lines I've ever heard. I mean, it's a good line. It's just. Ugh. About William's wife, note from Eliana, 1154. I, I guess she didn't come with us then, did she? Was it my rejection that bittered William to the prospect of marriage for the years that followed? After I met Elizabeth, I later found out that she was the daughter of Harold Weymouth, a wealthy knight and a supporter of Stephen. 
Elizabeth was only 14 at the time of the wedding. Bishop Whalerin wed them uh, in the Cathedral of Shiring, and everybody of imp- everyone of importance was invited to a large feast, or the large feast. Elizabeth is a gentle girl who probably felt honored to be chosen to become the Earl's wife. I dare not imagine how William treated her. One more reason to finally put an end to all this. Um. Yeah, but how exactly are we planning on doing that? Whoa. All right. Uh, that was chapter 17, what you did. You found a secret chamber underneath King's in the Kingsbridge Cathedral. That's right. You confessed to Philip that you burned down the cathedral accidentally, I might add. We we thought about it, then we decided against it, then it happened anyway. So, but yeah, Philip knows now. Philip's, Philip, Philip's book is strongly criticized by the church. What else is new? The war between Empress Maud and King Stephen has ended. You found Elizabeth only after you entered the hut. Yeah, I thought I thought the crying was coming from inside the hut. That's why I wanted to go in and investigate. You brought her some soup. You helped her warm up with a blanket. What do you mean I kept quiet when Walter entered the hut? What do you mean? I didn't keep quiet. I mean... The fuck do you mean I kept quiet? I stood between the two and said, No, you are not fucking taking. I, like, I did... Okay. Apparently we kept quiet. Uh, chapter 18. Chapter 18, there it is. And... Outlaws. Oh. Re- Dear Francis, yep, another the letter. letters I have written to you over the years surely could be bound into a book. Hmm. But only you know what my words in those letters amount to. It is different with the book I have written. It has found its way into priories throughout England and beyond. Because of my book, I may have to talk to Bishop Henry. But that is not the only thing that keeps me awake tonight. Write about discovering the crypt, book, Kingsbridge. Now the crypt, right? Behind a wall in our crypt, Jack discovered a hidden room. We do not know who built it. But it is likely that Prior James hid there, even after he was said to have drowned. That means he was alive when we met in Kingsbridge on New Year's Day, the day of his burial. And Jack told me he saw a man in the church the night it burned down. Was that him? And if so, did he burn in the fire that night? The dust storm and the drought are taking their toll on all of us. Thanks to our town wall, we are safe from the Earl and the outlaws. We've heard of places nearby being raided. We believe the attackers were William Hamley's men. We have enough food to last us another few weeks. But life has come to a halt. Martha believes there will be rain soon. But the storm is only a harbinger of rain. I hope that she is right. She always was optimistic. Jonathan worries about my book. The Divine Soul. In Winchester, he heard that Bishop Henry was less than pleased by what I had written. 
I am not naive enough to pretend I do not know why. I wrote that hope is godly, and since God made each of us, hope and salvation are only to be found within ourselves. Henry sells hope, and I am giving it away for free. If the church should ask me to clarify my position, of course I shall do so. But I feel I must give our people what they need in these desperate times. And how could I write anything else if this is what I truly believe? Yeah. It must be well after midnight. <sighs> With you, I can be honest about what truly troubles me. Jack told me that he was responsible for the fire in Kingsbridge. I know that it was a long time ago. He told me it was an accident. And I don't think Tom knew either. No one did. Not even Eliana. Oh my God. Save yourselves! The saint! But we must save the saint! Bad. Fire! The whole roof is in flames! My God! Don't go in there! Adolphus! The, the saint! We must save him! No! No! Don't go! And, as horrible as it may sound, I cannot find it in my heart just now to forgive Jack. Maybe because this confession comes too late, and from a man who I have learned to trust. <sighs> yeah. This is the truth. Can't blame him, can you? Can't blame Philip for not being able to forgive just yet. I should get some air, Francis. The storm has settled down. Really? Take a walk. My Bible, the word of God, they say. Letter. The second letter this month. I miss Francis. Um, notes. Wrote down my sermons. Became the book I wrote. Should I not write what I believe? Of course you should. Books. Copies of my book. Gave one to Henry as a gift. Now, he threatens me. Yeah, but you yourself explained why. The storm died down. Still light in the cathedral. Probably Jack at work. Jack is still working. <laughs> he always is. Of course he is. I know them by heart. But Jonathan insisted we keep them. I don't like to indulge in my own writings. <laughs> sure, let's go for a walk then. The storm really has died down. It's still dry as as ever, but uh, we don't need to go back into the house. The cathedral. Jack is still at work. Maybe he cannot sleep as well. A magnificent cathedral, but I would have been more than content with the old one had it not been burned to the ground. Man. I do think, I think he'll forgive Jack eventually. I hope so anyway, because it was an accident. Graves. Here they all lie in wait, dearest friends that went before me. When my time comes, I shall see them again. Let's hope so. 
that's it. I guess I guess we'll take the path around the cathedral then. There's nothing else to see back here. Is what? Hello? Whoa. I thought I saw someone. Yeah, you did. I mean there are a lot of people about but what what the fuck? What was that noise? Dude, I was about to say it's a nice night. I mean it's it's dry, there was just a storm and times aren't good, but I don't know, it seems like a nice night. Jack outdid himself. England never saw a cathedral like this. Nope. It did not. What the fuck? <gasps> that came from the kitchen. So... Le no, I don't want to leave the priory. Hold on. When I click on a cathedral, what do you do? Oh. Oh. <gasps> Whoa. Oh, it's you. Oh. <laughs> you startled me. Oh, well, you fucking scared me. I thought me. I heard something. Was that you? No, but I heard it too. Maybe Aliena came back. No. No, she's asleep. She returned oh. a few hours ago. Perfect. Damn it. Jack. Sorry. There's someone in the kitchen. Yes. I think you're right. Stay behind me. The I'll door's go ahead. open too. Sorry, I keep interrupting. It's, it's multiple people. Hello? Hello? There's someone in here. <sighs> Outlaws. Oh. Philip? Probably just after food. Yeah. I will talk to them. All right. What was that noise? Yeah, the outlaws. <laughs> we could just leave now. They're forced to steal. Terrible times, how desperate they must be. Exactly. I'm not planning to be hostile. Please. Listen. Don't growl. We don't Calm mean down. you harm. Philip, be careful. Damn it. Philip, throw me a stone. Whoa, whoa, oh, uh. Um, what the fuck? But. No! No, Philip! come on. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh. Okay, good. Jesus Christ. I was afraid for a second there that the game was just gonna continue. Like, yeah, Philip died, you fucked up. Okay, you know these things aren't my forte. We're gonna do this again. I wasn't planning on being hostile, but. Please. Jesus. Listen. I didn't, I didn't think they just. <sighs> Heck, I don't know where. We don't mean you harm. Philip, be careful. Jesus. Damn it. All right, come on, let's do it this time. I'll, Philip, I'll get it. I'll get it. We'll. Are you shitting me? There we go. There we go. Ah! Oh, Jack, no. No, it had to be. It's him. Brother Marcus. Brother oh. Marcus. He took Cuthbert's keys to steal food here from the kitchen. Because of me, Remigius found out. And he left. We never saw him again. Looks like he came back. Huh. Shit. You didn't mean for this to happen. No, but... What about him? Don't be afraid. Ah! 
motherfucker. Why did you do that, you animal? I will get the others. No! What? He's just a child. Really? Just a child. Jack forgave the child. Just like that. <laughs> and I forgave him. For that was what he had been when he arrived in Kingsbridge. Just a child. Who was I to judge this man for not confessing earlier what he had done? I had never told his wife, Aliena, that I was responsible for her fate and for her father's. Even that night, when we all met, I did not dare to tell her. Hmm. The walls of Kingsbridge weren't enough anymore. The outlaws had found a way in. We weren't safe in our homes. So this is what it has come to. Kingsbridge is under attack. Why everybody. didn't Uncle Richard chase them away? Why? Now, now, do not exaggerate. This is not a siege. We only saw two of them, and one of them was a child. But they almost killed you. Blame the drought, blame William, calm them down, blame... Pa no, calm them down. I mean, if... Yeah, blame the drought, but let's calm everybody down. They were just looking for food. They didn't mean any harm. It's the drought. It destroyed all the crops. Yeah. They must eat something. Desperate or not, they're only the vanguard of a full-scale invasion. No. If we had a decent Earl, the people wouldn't be starving. It is all too easy to blame a desperate child. Forgiveness is much harder. It is. But forgive we must. Can you? Forgive, I mean. I already have. Hamley is the reason <laughs> for this. He's to blame. It's that simple. Well, he won't be Earl for long. The Treaty of Wallingford has been signed at last. It's only a matter of time until things change. What treaty? Winchester is in turmoil about this right now. Stephen and Maud have signed the treaty. Maud's son, Duke Henry, is to be crowned the next king. And, by agreement, all lands are to be returned to their previous owners. Yeah, I remember. But Stephen will continue to rule as long as he lives. The earldom will be ours again. It will not. Why the bloody hell not? Bloody hell. <laughs> hey, Language? No. no one will enforce this until Stephen is dead. What is to be done then? Appeal to the new king, ask them to stay strong, defend the outlaws, give food to the outlaws. Yeah! We only have enough for a couple of weeks, though. Well, if they're hungry, can't we just give them something to eat? I'll share. <laughs> we should, and we will. But there are too many to feed them all. We must do something. Well, I cannot sit quietly and wait until Stephen dies of old age. The Treaty of Wallingford is in place. I won't wait for another 17 years. Not when I'm so close to fulfilling the promise I made to my father. Hmm. You're right, but it wasn't William Hamley who came here last night. It's the outlaws we need to worry about. <sighs> well, what do we do about it? Speak up for the outlaws, fortify Kingsbridge, show compassion. Turn outlaws against William. They too are victims. We must show compassion. If we defend Kingsbridge, we must cause as little harm as possible. Or better, help as many as possible. Things will only get worse if we don't find a way to deal with Hamley. What about his mother? I've heard that Hamley still listens to her. That she still has a say in Earl's Castle. 
Yes, let's tell his mother. <laughs> if we spoke to Regan Hanley, we might not need a physical confrontation at all. That'll never work. We have to assault them and take back our father's castle. Even if that means fighting alongside the outlaws. I don't like either choice, to be honest. Neither do I. So, what do you think, Alina? What do you think, Alina? I will talk to the outlaws to get them to join us in aggressively trying to take over. Or I will negotiate with Regan, Regan Hamley. This option has potential. It was Bishop Whalerin who poisoned her and Percy Hamley. I mean, none of these people, none of us, other than you and me, know that, and neither does Regan, but. That is a fact, and if that came to light somehow, that would help us in negotiating. Plus, if I have a choice between violence and, and peace, or being violent and being peaceful, I'll try to be peaceful. I don't think it's a good idea to attack outlaws or no. So... I'll negotiate with Regan Hamley. I will go to Earl's castle. Alone. Are you serious, Ali? Regan Hamley seems to be in a tight corner herself. She might well be willing to cooperate. I do hope you're right. I'll ride with you. You won't, Cub. Not with that leg of yours. Your mother is right. Besides, if we all turn up, they might think we mean them harm. Chapter 18, Outlaws. Alright. What you did. The first Outlaws have made their way to Kingsbridge. That's true. Your former novice brother Marcus was one of the Outlaws. Yeah. You have a chance to take back Earl's castle and fulfill your oath. Alright. Alright. Short, short chapter. Quick chapter. Um, That's gonna be it for this episode. Next time... I don't know if it's a good idea for Eliana to be riding there alone. But. Richard has a point. You know, if everybody shows up. I don't know. I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't like either of the options. But going Witcher style and staying neutral isn't exactly a thing we can do. Plus, that's not really a good choice anyway. So, anyway. I hope you guys enjoyed watching, and I'll see you all next time. Auf Wiedersehen.